All right, today I'm running new power cables for my grabs inside my boat. Uh, last year I ran some cables, power cables for that, but uh, I used some 14 uh, gauge cable, which it works fine, that, that's efficient, but I want to step it up to 10 gauge today. Uh, I think it'll give it a little bit more power during the day. Uh, when your battery start to wear down, it still will give it the power that it needs. Uh, I had a couple of problems with my front unit uh, last year, not reading uh, the maps and all that type thing. So I'm going to upgrade my power cable today with some, uh, like I said, 10 gauge wire. And I'm going to show you guys how I'm going to do it. The first thing you want to do when you're trying to run cable by yourself on these little spools is get your uh, piece of conduit or some kind of pole, stick, or something that's that'll fit inside the uh, holes of the uh, rolls here. Uh, what I like to do, like I said, this is a piece of three-quarter inch uh, EMT conduit because uh, I run cable for a living, so I know these little tricks and hopefully they'll help you guys out. Uh, like I said, I just slide the um, roll on. Just make sure that you can find where the, the beginning of the uh, uh, cable starts and which way you want to roll it off. Make sure you put that uh, that direction because you don't want it to roll off on the bottom. I mean, it works, but I like to roll my stuff off the top. And uh, you can do the same thing with the other one. Uh, just slide it on. And find you something to, that'll hold this this conduit. And I just got two blocks that I had out here in the yard. Uh, just gonna put these this conduit between these blocks like this. And now you got your uh, ready-made uh, cable cable tray that you can roll off this cable by yourself. You don't need a partner with you. That type thing. And uh, like I said, it'll it'll keep everything in place. You don't have to fight with a spool on the ground so now that we got this set up well we're going to try to go ahead and, and get our length of our cables I'm going to show you what I want to try to do okay now that we got our two two power cables our power and our ground on the spool uh, what I like to do is uh, just get some tape uh, just tape them together that way I know they in pairs because everything takes a power in the ground and what I like to do, uh, I got them, uh, the, the spools here on the back of the boat. And I'm just going to walk to the front of the boat to try to get my link, my guesstimated link. Uh, before I can come back and, and cut them off and label them for where I want them to be. So I'm just going to... I know that's a good link. Uh, it's got plenty extra on it. Um, so I'm just going to get my cutters and cut it off back here in the back and uh, we'll go from there. Okay, now I cut it off. I'm just going to do the same thing. I'm just going to tie them together for they don't be flopping everywhere here. Now that I got them, uh, this is the back end. Like I said, I got the front end up, up in the front. So next thing I want to do um, you want to get some tape, uh, like some white tape or some kind of uh, vanilla tape or something that you can, that sticks pretty good, but you can write on. Because I'm going to take a piece of this off, get my Sharpie, and write on each power cable where I want it to, you know, go for like the front unit, uh, the back unit, uh, my gum and that type thing. I want to label it for when I finish running everything and I got everything inside the boat I can just look at it and say okay this is goes to my front unit okay this one goes to my garment so that's what I want to do so I'm just gonna like I said pull off me a couple two pieces of tape here come back on side the uh, power cable I like to try to get them even and uh, just push them together that way I got a real good hold on that if I just did it a little bit on the top and roll around just a little bit it, it'll come off when I run it through this boat so make sure you put it double up 
and stick it to itself because that, that way it's not going to come off. And like I said, this one's going to be my front unit. All I got want to do is just put front on there. That way I know. I want to do both of them. And now I got that label with front and uh, just give it a with this uh, permanent permanent sharpie in about two three six minutes it, it'll be dry that you can touch it and won't rub off. So I'm gonna do the same thing for the front and uh, like I said I got my uh, Lawrence unit up front my tw my 12 touch and I got my Garmin up there and I got the live scope. Uh, live scope box that needs power so I'm gonna run three sets of two up to the front so I'm gonna do this three times well two more times and the other power gonna go to the back unit here so I'm gonna have to just run it to the uh, console so let me do that and I come back and uh, we'll go from there all right as you can see up in front of the boat um, this is my Garmin uh, power cable this is my uh, live scope power cable. The reason I know because I got them labeled from last time. Uh, if you didn't label them, you wouldn't know what was what. You'd spend minutes, 30 minutes or so, trying to figure out what wiring is what. And this is my Lowrance because I got an L on it. So this is the power cables for that. See, if you see up here in the front, if you look down in there, you see all those cables. If you didn't label them, it'd be a nightmare trying to figure out what cable goes to what. So make sure you label the cables on both ends, the front and the back. So uh, like I said, this is the 14 gauge cable that I ran last year for these units. Uh, it works, uh, but I just think uh, a high grade uh, gauge cable would work even better, giving it more uh, consistent power coming from the back. Like I said, this boat is 20 foot six inches long so I don't know the resistance drop from back there to up here but uh, I want to try to make it just better than I have in the past so I'm running the 10 gauge uh, but that's I just want to show you here in the front where I got everything and why I got it labeled uh, so now what I'm gonna do is uh, let me show you see if I can show you here uh, I don't know if you see it but here you see all these cables come out of this conduit. This is the conduit that runs to the back uh, where all the cables come from the back up to the front. Uh, so you only have, that's probably only an inch conduit and you only have that amount of space in there. So I'm gonna pull these old power cables out before I run the new ones. And uh, like I said, I already got a pull string in here from running it last time. I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna hook that up and uh, that's the key to running cable in your boat, this, this, this pull string here. All right, now that I got all the power cables pulled back from the front um, and the uh, ground cables also, I'm going to leave this green cable. This green cable is the uh, ground for my uh, live scope up in the front, which is okay at 14 gauge. And uh, this is the... Uh, power cable for the back unit and I'm gonna use that as a pull string so I'm gonna leave that in for right now but but the rest of the cables like I said uh, you can use them for something else if you need to but uh, right now they got to here okay the first thing you want to do is is uh, get your your new pull string tied to the old pull string uh, the best knot I found over the years is just what they call a, a surgeon's knot it's basically just a overhand knot that you pull both of them together and that knot doesn't come loose so but you want to try to make it as small as possible like I said this is some big uh, pull string so you want to just uh, if I can find my tape I'm gonna tape that well let me get the tape first okay first thing you want to do is like I said you want to tape this knot down to make it small as possible uh, and like I said I just get tape and it helps for making sure that knot doesn't come loose so I just like to tape the 
the tail down all the way to the end in case you have to pull this back that tail won't catch and uh, make uh, prevent you from pulling it back so like I said right there it's nice and streamlined and uh, it make for a nice pull so I'm gonna get my my new power cables and what I want to do is just right from the start I just want to stagger them don't put them all the head all together like this that'd be fine if you had an open conduit nothing is in it but when you got cable in it you want to try to stagger them to make it uh, a easier pull I mean down here all of them's going to be you know the same size but to get it to run through other cable and and snake its way through there you need it uh, staggered so once you get it staggered you just and don't worry about taping over the labels they'll be fine uh, like I said you just want them to survive if you had to relabel them relabel them but you want it nice and tight because you don't want that to come loose halfway down the boat and at the end try to make a, a point much as possible because if, if you don't that end will catch on all the cable that's in there and make it more difficult so don't worry about using tape, tape is cheap okay so we got a point on that much as I can get it um, I'm gonna put some more tape here like I said that's the worst thing when you're running cable to have the, the cable come loose halfway uh, in the middle of the run so I'm just gonna tape it some more down here toward the end and I'm gonna tape over the labels just to keep them from getting pulled off okay now we got that ready to go we're gonna basically do the same thing same thing here like I said this part is what's going in the boat so we want the point of the cable going down in there you don't want to have it like that that way it'll pull backwards which you never get through there so we want to go a little bit past the uh, knot that we did and just like I said we're going to take a good portion of this at least four or five inches of it just to make sure that it's not going to come loose Like I said, you want this super tight. Tight as you can get it. Like I said, you always want to try to make a point toward the end, so go down the tape some. I mean the pull string some. And come back. Up the power cable. So right there, I'm confident that this won't come loose. And make sure you got your you got your um, new power cables uh, pulled out straight, so it doesn't grab or catch on anything once you're pulling it. Uh, I just want to make sure that this cable is going down in that uh, conduit. I might have to get up on the boat but and the other thing is the cables that you left in here make sure you tie them down to something for they won't pull back through there once you pull in this new cable it won't pull with it uh, just tie them in a knot on something that'll hold it from uh, moving like I said I'm just trying to stick my arm in there make sure that the new power cables are going in the conduit and not getting hung up on the front of the conduit and I'm gonna pull these cables to this side of my boat for to have a more straighter path through that conduit. Trying to keep them straight. I'm 
I'm doing a constant check on these to make sure they not getting kept caught on anything so it's got a nice pull to it so you're gonna have to really pull it and just listen and make sure it's not catching on anything like I said I got it here in the front I'm just going to check see how much slack is in the back before I don't pull too much up here. Okay, my guesstimate was pretty good. Like I said, I got about, I'd say a foot and a half up here in the front, which is good to work anywhere in this uh, hole up here. And on the back, I have probably two feet, two and a half foot of... Uh, cable to work with so that's good I can go anywhere I want to on the back here what I want to try to do is put this little fuse box here somewhere in the back uh, to be able to hook these cables up and put fuses in them uh, that type of thing trying to protect the uh, units so uh, but we're gonna go ahead and get these cables probably terminated and see if we can uh, put like I said put some ends on them and then again like I said I still got a, a pull string inside that conduit for if I had to pull one more cable for something else I add up here in the front or anything like that alright guys I wanted to show you what kind of connection I was using uh, like I said I'm using the crimp with the um, watertight uh, shrink wrap on it uh, I tried to use I uh, got a couple more different ones over here uh, the one with the solder in the middle of it and all that good stuff, but they just didn't work good for me. So I went back to the old school, uh, the ones I've been using forever. Uh, like I said, they, you crimp the cable in the middle and uh, you just use a heat source to shrink wrap the, uh, uh, the you know, the, the coating over top of it and make it watertight. And you're done. So that is much easier. Uh, and I did the pull test on it before I, you know, doing this, putting the heat on it, make sure it doesn't come apart. So I got all the connections done here in the front for all three of my units. And uh, I guess I'm going to go back in the back and put some uh, circle connectors. I don't know exactly what you call them, but the ones that got the little ends on them that you can uh, put over top of a... Over a a top of a connector you know a screw or something like that alright guys I'm buttoning up the back here uh, like I said I put these terminals on it that uh, that'll fit here inside this uh, new little uh, fuse box I got so that's why I chose the size that I did choose uh, like I said I got the little kit here that has all different kinds in it and I'm just like I said uh, just heating up the shrink wrap around it and uh, I'll be done with the uh, cable installations here. Okay, so like I said, I got all the, the cables back here in the back. The only cable that I hadn't ran was the one for the uh, the back unit for the console, but I'll do that here uh, in a little while. But uh, other than that, guys, that's pretty much it. But other than that, like I said, this little kit came in handy. Uh, I'll put that link down in the description. And uh, this, this fuse box, I think it's going to be a good thing for me too, so. And the uh, cable, like I said, 10 gauge cable from 14 to 10. Uh, I put that in, link in the description too. But all, other than that, guys, I think that's about it. Uh, hope you like the video. Hope you get something out of it. And uh, like I said, a lot of people run new cables in their boat. So you need to know how to get it to wear it the easier way. So, all right, guys, I'm going to stop rambling. And I'm out of here. Thanks for watching. And yeah, make sure you subscribe too, if you haven't.